Hello and welcome to another Houdini VEX tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the two useful functions one is uh, XYZ distance and another one is PrimUV so I'm going to create a geometry and let's create a grid and change the size to by 2 maybe 50 by 50 rows and columns and add the mountain add the mountain and also I'm going to add an attribute noise and add some color let me just decrease the height okay and I have to create a sphere a primitive type so it does it's only just one point and change the size add a transform to be able to transfer this one and an attribute triangle to write our functions and the C. First, I'm going to just lock this uh, geometry spreadsheet here and uh, template the script. So, XYZ distance function. Let's go into documentation and see. Uh, it's going to find the distance of a point to a geometry. So this is the value is going to return. It's a float type and it's just a distance between the point to a geometry. And it, this is the basic definition, but I'm going to use the second one. It's going to give us uh, more, more values. More, and how is that? It's going to be used the, the prim and it's going to be UV. So this end percent here is is going to if you define a variable type integer and this one is a vector it's going to write the primitive number resulted by this function and write it as an attribute and this is also a uv so this actually is overwrites this is what it means it's going to overwrite any variable you pass to the function is going to overwrite and the result of this function so it's also give you the distance so let me just do some vex basic stuff first we're going to define a variable type vector i can use uh, this kind of vector and name it uv but for the demonstration purposes i'm going to use the v at uv and give it a uh, default value. They, I'm going to use this one so we can see the result uh, in the spreadsheet. Otherwise, it's going to just you, it's going to work inside this this triangle, and you don't get any result here. So another one is uh, the primitive number. I'm going to use i at uh, like the name prm maybe at primnum, and let's just write the uh, another maybe variable list you can you can also use this function without using this uh, return uh, save it in the uh, attribute but in this case i'm going to just use uh, the distance uh, dist type f float to use the x y z dist input number one because we want to sample uh, the primitives here so we want to calculate the distance between this point and this primitives or this geometry. And it's going to be at P, our current position, or the point position we have, and at PRM and at V at UV. And it's better to use the I, and this one is V at UV, and apply. <clears throat> So as you can see, we have three results. One is the distance, another one is the primitive number, and another one is the parametric UV space. So if I move this sphere, you can see it's going to update the distance, the prim number, and the UV. So what is the usage for this one? What we can do with this? For example, by having this UV, we can use a prim UV function to sample an attribute and a specific UV position that we already have here. And so let me just give you an example. If I say at P is equal prim UV 
input number one and what is the attribute I want to sample is position or interpolate and I add PRM is a current primitive or the closest primitive that we already have with this XYZ distance and the V at TV if I apply I think we have some here I at PR yes here we have a miss okay now it's working if I move this point now is uh, the position is going to match uh, with the primitive so let me just open the documentation if I go the, here in the UV the function overrides this variable right and you can use the prim UV to sample an attribute value at this location so if I click on the prim UV uh, interpolate the value this definition interpolates the value of an attribute at a certain parametric UV position this what is this parametric UV position if you just type in the search just UV here you can find a parametric uh, UV space uh, in the documentation and read through yeah it's very good explanation and what it means is when you create a geometry is in Houdini is automatically you have some parametric UV so it's not like a 2d UV that to go to your UV editor you can see it it's not like that it's just something parametric so if I apply you can see you can change okay let's get the color for example I just need to just copy this line and just paste it here and just use this B to CD and also this one that we do want to sample okay or it's not just sample is actually interpolate you know so it's going to interpolate between this primitive okay so let me give you another example if I just copy this code and use uh, for example a pop network and connect uh, I can use this one I can use this one it doesn't matter and connect uh, again uh, this one to the second input here and use the pop wrangle and just paste the code and also add another pop force and let's just give it the direction some amplitude reduce the size and play nothing is going to happen right the reason is because as this pop wrangle here we use the, the input number one and by default it doesn't know which input we talk about because this pop wrangle only have a one and this is actually is because there is starting from zero one two three so we, we have to use this input so it's very easy just select the node go to the inputs and say the input uh, you can choose the input number two is going to be my second context geometry the context is a uh, we are in the dynamics right so second input of this at the dot network now if I play the particles are moving along the surface and you can imagine this is very nice uh, you can do a lot of nice effects using this one if, uh, if, we, if for example do this simulation and after that you can use this one uh, for some smoke simulation and stuff so you can really do nice stuff also another way you can you can use uh, this function is to move a point uh, for example along a along a curve but I'm not going to talk about that one is uh, the same the same uh, concept you just need to use use the point and here is the point and the, the primitive for example if you have like few curves is the first one is a uh, number zero and the next one is number one so I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.